at stage 2, paragraph page 106. Okay. And our last head word was yours, new work type of lesson. Okay. So let's start with our revision. Ready? Yes. Okay. Let me just scroll down. Okay. Here we go. First question. Okay. What can we say instead of not any books? What can we say instead of not any books? We can say no books say no instead books. of not instead any of books. Not any books. Not any books. Not any books. Very good. Give me another example. Give me another example, please. They haven't got any friends. They haven't got any friends. They haven't. Okay, repeat. They haven't got, got any, any friends. friends. Or they have they, no friends. They, ha they haven't got any friends. They have no friends. Very good. Can you hear me speaking to you? Can you hear me speaking to you? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I speaking can hear to me. you speaking to me. Can you hear anybody in the other room? Can you hear anybody in the other room? Yes or no? I... No. I can't hear anybody, can't hear anybody in, the in the other room. The other room. Very good. What do we hear with? What do we hear with? We hear with we our hear ears. With our ears. Very good. Can you drive a car? Can you drive a car? Yes or no? No, I, I can't, can't drive a car. Is there anybody in your family who can't drive a car? Is there anybody in your family who can't drive a car? Yes or no? Uh, yes. There's somebody, there somebody in my family, in my family who can't drive, can a car. drive a car. Very good. How, how much money have you got in your pocket? How much money have you got in your pocket? I've got about... I, I've got about 100 in, in, my, in pocket. my pocket. How many pence make a pound? In the UK, how many pence make a pound? A hundred pence make a pound. A hundred pence make a pound in... <laughs> In the UK. In the UK. Very good. How many euros make a pound? How many euros make a pound? About two, two, about euros, two euros make a pound. And make a pound. Very good. Very good. Have I got more thumbs than fingers in my hands? Have I got more thumbs than fingers in my hands? No. You no, haven't got haven't more got thumbs more than thumbs fingers on your hands. On your hands. You've got fewer thumbs you got fewer than, thumbs fingers than fingers on your hands. On your hands. Very good. Are there more people in Europe than in Asia? Are there more people in Europe than in Asia? No. There no, aren't there more are people more in people Europe in than Europe in Asia. Than in Asia. There are fewer people are fewer in people Europe in than Europe in Asia. Than Asia. Than in Asia. Than in Asia. Very good. Are there more tables in this school than chairs? Are there more tables in this school than chairs? No. There no, aren't there more are tables more in that school in than school chairs. That chairs. There are fewer tables are fewer in that tables school in than, that chairs. than chairs. Very good. What's the difference between watch and a clock? What's the difference between a watch and a clock? The difference, between the difference between a watch, watch and clock is that we wear a watch we wear on our, our watch wrist. On, uh, our on wrist, our wrist, whereas our we wrist, hang a clock on, the wall, on the, wall the wall or put it, or on, the or table. Put it on the table. Very good. What's the difference between wear and carry? What's the difference between wear and carry? The difference between the difference wear between and wear carry and is that carry. we use wear we use for a wear thing. That is on the body. That is on the body. That is on the body. Whereas we use carry for a thing that is not on the body. Not on the body. Wait, is there a clock in this room? Is there a clock in this room? Yes, there's a clock in that room. In that room. Wait, am I carrying a watch? Am I carrying a watch? No. You no, are carrying a watch. You're wearing a watch. Very good. Okay, next. What are you carrying in your pocket? What are you carrying in your pocket? I am carrying. I'm carrying. Some money. Uh, I'm carrying some money. In, in my pocket. pocket. Very good. Okay. Next. Okay. Here we go. What's the time by this clock? What's the time by this clock? It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. What's the time by this clock? What's the time by this clock? It's five past it's three. It's five after three. It's five past 
three. It's five past three. Very good. What's the time by this clock? What's the time by this clock? It's half it's past half three. If half past three. Half past three. Okay, more. It's half it's past half after three. Okay. Okay, like half after three or half past three. Half past three. Three. Very good. Okay, what's the time by this clock? What's the time by this clock? It's 35 it's, uh, minutes. That's 35 minutes. Past three. Past three. Very good. What's the time by this clock? What's the time by this clock? It's two minutes. Two minutes. Past four. Uh, past four. What's the time by this clock? What's the time by this clock? It's 18 and minutes. It's 18 minutes. Past, past seven. Seven. Very good. What's the time now? What's the time now, please? It's, it's six minutes. Uh, six minutes. Past, past six. Uh, past six. Very good. Okay, how many seconds make a minute? How many seconds make a minute? Sixty seconds. 60 make seconds a minute. Make a minute. How many minutes make an hour? How many minutes make an hour? Sixty minutes. Sixty minutes. Make an hour. Make an hour. How many hours make a day? How many hours make a day? 24 hours 24 make a day. Hours make a day. How many days make a week? How many days make a week? Seven days Seven make a days week. Make a week. How many weeks make a month? How many weeks make a month? Four weeks make Four a weeks month. Make a month. How many months make a year? How many months make a year? Twelve months Twelve make months a year. Make a year. Very good. Give me an example of the word also. Give me an example of the word also, please. I can speak my language I speak my and language. I can also I can speak, speak English. Also speak English. Very good. Do you like meat? Do you like meat? Yes or no? Uh, yes. I like uh, meat. I like meat. What color sugar? What color sugar? Sugar's white sugar or brown? Or brown. Very good. Okay. Do you put sugar on your meat? Do you put sugar on your meat? No. I no, don't put I sugar put on my sugar meat. On I meat. put it. In my tea or coffee. tea or coffee. Very good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What am I doing? You're counting. You're counting. Six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What am I doing? You're counting you're the counting numbers the number from six to ten. From six to ten. Very good. Count the numbers from one hundred to one hundred and five. Count the numbers from one hundred to one hundred to one hundred and five, please. One hundred. One hundred and one. One hundred and one. One hundred and two. One hundred and three. One hundred and four. One hundred and five. Well, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm counting the numbers from one hundred to one hundred and five. To one hundred and five. Very good. What are the possessive adjectives? What are the possessive adjectives? The possessive adjectives, the possessive adjectives are my, are your, my, his, your, her, his, her, it, our, it, our your, your, and their. And their. What are the possessive pronouns? What are the possessive pronouns? The possessive pronouns, the possessive pronouns are, mine, are mine, yours, yours his, hers, 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 ours, yours, ours, and, and theirs. And theirs. Very good. What's the difference between a possessive adjective and a possessive pronoun? What's the difference between a possessive adjective and a possessive pronoun? The difference between, the difference between a possessive a adjective possessive and, a and a possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. Is that we put a possessive put adjective, a adjective in front of a noun, in front of a noun. whereas we use whereas we a possessive use pronoun, a possessive pronoun instead of a noun. Instead of noun. Very. Instead of a noun. Instead of a noun. Very good. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. This is my book. This is, this is my book. This book is mine. This book is mine. This is mine. This is mine. Very good. Okay. Is this your ear? Is this your ear? No. no. That isn't my that ear. Isn't my ear. It's your it's ear. You it's, it's your, your ear. Where? It's your ear. Just one. It's your ear. It's your ear. Very good. Is this ear yours? Is this ear yours? 
No, that no, ear isn't, that mine. isn't mine. It's yours. It's yours. Right? Is that nose mine? Is that nose mine? No. Yeah, this no. nose isn't this yours. Nose isn't yours. It's mine. It's mine. Very good. Okay, so that's the end of our revision. Let's have new work. Very good. Okay, repeat. His. His. Hers. Hers. Very good. Okay, listen. His and hers are pronouns. For example, okay, that dress isn't his. It's hers. Okay, that suit isn't hers. It's his. Okay, so let's practice. Is that dress his? Is that dress his? No. That dress no, isn't, that his. isn't his. It's hers. It's hers. Right. Is that suit hers? Is that suit hers? No. That suit no, that isn't suit hers. Isn't hers. It's, his. it's his. Very good. Are those hands his? Are those hands his? No. Those, no, hands, are, those hands aren't are his. his. They're hers. His. Uh, they are hers. Very good. Are those arms hers? Are those arms hers? No. Those no, arms those aren't arms hers. Aren't They're arms. his. They are his. Very good. Okay, next repeat. Ours. Ours. Theirs. Theirs. Very good. Okay, listen. These legs aren't ours. They're theirs. Okay, another example is these aren't their books. It's our books. Okay. Let's practice. Okay, here we go. So let's use this one. So, are those legs ours? Are those legs ours? No. Those no. legs those aren't legs ours. Aren't They're ours. theirs. They're theirs. Very good. Are these books? Are these their books? Are these their books? No. Those no. aren't. Their books. Their books. They're our books. Yeah, they're our books. Very good. Are these books theirs? Are these books theirs? No. Those no. books Those aren't books theirs. Aren't theirs. They're ours. They're ours. Very good. Next repeat. Infinitive. Infinitive. Very good. Okay, listen. Verbs in the infinitive generally have the word to in front of them. For example, to do, to come, to go, to run. To walk. So those are infinitive with two. Okay, let's practice. Give me some examples of verbs in the infinitive. Give me some examples of verbs in the infinitive, please. Some examples, some examples of verbs in of the verb infinitive, in the infinitive are to come, are to, to go, come, to, to go, take, etc. Very good. Next, let's have auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb. Very good. Okay, let's talk about auxiliary verb. Okay, repeat. Do. Do. Very good. Okay, listen. An auxiliary verb is part of the verb in a sentence, but it does not tell us the action. That's why it's called auxiliary. For example, in the sentence, we are speaking. The word speaking tells us the action, and the word are is an auxiliary verb. Okay. In the sentence, he can read. The word can is the auxiliary verb. And the verb is read. He can read. The auxiliary verb for the present simple is do. For example, we say, do you speak English or I do not have a bag? Okay, let's practice. Which word is the auxiliary verb in this sentence? They can open the window. Which word is the auxiliary verb in this sentence? They can open the window. The word can word is the can auxiliary is verb, the aux in, that verb in that sentence. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Verb in that sentence. The verb in the sentence. Very good. Which word is the auxiliary verb in this sentence? Do they walk to school? Which word is the auxiliary verb in this sentence? Do they walk to school? The word do the word is do the auxiliary is verb. The auxiliary in that in, sentence. In that sentence. Very good. Okay, next, listen. Also, the word do... Okay, so, for example, what is he doing? He's sitting on a chair. Okay, let's practice. What does the verb to do mean in Japanese? What does the verb to do mean in Japanese? The verb the to do means... Do, 
means in Japanese is in Japanese is suru. Suru. Very good. Okay, next. Okay, here you go. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're going out you going of the room. Going out of the room. Very good. What do I do after the lesson? What do I do after the lesson? You go out you of go the room out after, after the, the room, lesson. After the lesson. Very good. Okay, next. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're standing up. You're standing up. What standing am I up. doing? What am I doing? You're sitting down. You're sitting down. What do you do before the lesson? What do you do before the lesson? I sit down sitting, before the sit lesson. Down before the lesson. What do you do after the lesson? What do you do after the lesson? I stand up I stand after up the lesson. After the lesson. Very good. Okay, next repeat. The most. The most. Very good. Okay, listen. For example, this book. This book has more pages than this book. But this book has got more pages than this book. So this book has the most pages of these three books. Let's practice. Which city in your country has the most people? Which city in your country has the most people? Uh, Tokyo? Tokyo. Tokyo is the city in my country is a city which has country, the most people. Which has the most people. Very good. Which person in your family reads the most books? Which person in your family reads the most books? My my, uh, my dad. My dad, my father, my father is the person, is the, the person in my family in who my reads family the most books. Read the most books. Very good. Which school in your town has most students? Which school in your town has the most students? Let's say uh, ABC school. Yeah. Uh, ABC school. Is the school in my town in my which town. has the most students? Which has the most students? Very good. Next repeat. Beautiful. Beautiful. Handsome. 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 Okay. Next. Handsome. Ugly. Ugly. Very good. Okay, listen. Beautiful is an adjective. It means very attractive, sometimes referring to a woman. For example, I think Paris is a beautiful place. Referring to a woman, I think Angelina Jolie is beautiful. Handsome is an adjective. It means a very attractive man. For example, I think Brad Pitt is handsome. Ugly is an adjective. It's the opposite of beautiful and handsome. It means not attractive. For example, I don't think hell is a beautiful place. I think it's an ugly place. Let's practice. Do you think Paris is an ugly city? Do you think Paris is an ugly city? No, I don't no, think I Paris don't is an Paris ugly city. An ugly city. I think it's a beautiful I city. Think it's a beautiful city. Where do you think hell is a beautiful place? Do you think hell is a beautiful place? No, I don't no, think hell I don't think is a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. I think it's an think ugly place. It's an ugly place. Where do you think Brad Pitt is ugly? Do you think Brad Pitt is ugly? No, I don't uh, no, think I don't Brad Pitt is ugly. Brad Pitt is ugly. Brad Pitt is ugly. I think he's handsome. I think he's handsome. Very good. Which do you think is the most beautiful place in your country? Which do you think is the most beautiful place in your country? I think. Uh, I think Kyoto is the most, is most beautiful place. Most beautiful place in, in my, my country. country. Very good. Next up, eat. 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 Very good. Okay. Listen. Eat is a verb. It means to put food into the mouth. For example, I'm eating. We eat with our mouth. I don't eat all food. Some I eat and some I don't eat. I eat bread without butter. Okay, let's practice. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're eating. You're eating. Do you eat all food? Do you eat all food? Yes or no? Uh, yes, I, I eat, eat all food. food. Very good. Do you eat bread without butter? Do you eat bread without butter? Yes or no? Uh, no, I don't eat without butter. Uh, I don't eat bread. I, I don't eat bread without, without butter. butter. Very good. What do we eat with? What do we eat with? We eat with we our eat mouth. With our mouths. Very good. Next repeat. Drink. Drink. Water. Water. Wine. Wine. Milk. Milk. 
Very good. Okay, listen. Drink is a noun. It means a liquid that you can drink. The name of some drinks are water, wine, and milk. Drink is also a verb. It means to take liquid onto your mouth and swallow it. For example, I drink tea. So that's a verb. We can drink. We can't drink meat. We eat meat. Let's practice. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're drinking. You're drinking. Do you drink tea? Do you drink tea? Yes or no? Uh, yes, I, I drink, drink tea. Can we drink meat? Can we drink meat? No. We no, can't drink can't, meat. We can't drink meat. We eat meat. We can eat meat. Right. Tell me the names of some drinks. Tell me the names of some drinks, please. The names of some names drinks of are some water, drinks wine, are water and milk. wine, and milk. What color is water? What color is water? Water has water no color. Has no color. Is there a drink on the table? Is there a drink on the table? Yes or no? Uh, no. There isn't a drink there isn't on, a the drink table. on the table. But do you drink wine? Do you drink wine? Yes or no? Yes, I, I drink, drink wine. wine. Which drink do you prefer, milk or water? Which drink do you prefer, milk or water? I prefer. I prefer milk to, to water. Water. Very good. Okay, so now let's move on to reading. Very good. Okay, so our reading is at stage one, paragraph page forty-five. 45, okay, and our last head word was thing. Okay, please start at head word tall, short, Scandinavia at the bottom. Okay. Tall, short, Scandinavia. Mm -hmm. is, Mr. Uh, is Mr. Brown short? No, Mr. Brown isn't short. He's tall. Is Anna Brown tall? No, Anna Brown isn't tall. She's short. Are the people of Scandinavia short? No, the people of Scandinavia aren't short. They are tall. 46. Difference. 46. Uh, difference. Whereas. Uh, diff whereas. That. What's the difference between tall and short and high and low? The difference between tall and short and high and low is that we use tall and short for people, whereas we use high and low for things. Mm. Next, 47, 48. Asking, answering. Asking. Asking, answering. What this? It's a pen. What am I doing? You're asking him. Uh, uh, You're asking, asking him, him a, a question. question. Very good. What, uh, what this? It's a hand. Am I asking her a question? Yes, we're asking her a question. Mm -hmm. What this? It's a head. What's he doing? He's answering your question. What this? It's a mouth. Is he answering my question? Yes, he's answering your question. Ask him a question, please. Okay, move to page 49. To, to have. have. I have. I've. I have. I've. You have. You. He has. He's. She, uh, she has. She's. It has, it's, we have, we, you have, you, they have, they. Mm -hmm. But the meaning of the verb to have, the meaning of verb to have is a motu. Motu in Japanese, very good. It, uh, what, the, what the contraction of I have, you have, etc. I have, you, etc. Mm -hmm. Got with generally. Have I got two eyes? Yes, you've got two eyes. Have you got two ears? Yes, I've got two ears. Has he got two legs? Yes, he's got two legs. Has she got two hands? Yes, she's got two hands. Have we got two hands? Yes, we've two got two heads. Have we got two heads? Very good. Uh, have, have, they they? Four, have they got four arms? Yes, uh, they've yes, got. They've got four arms. Very good. Next, any. Any. Yes. Uh, any non specific. Uh, any non specific. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, some. No, not any. any. Mm -hmm. 
how many specifics? Seven, thirteen, etc. No. Mm -hmm. uh, specific, non specific, negative, positive. For example, important when. Okay. Very good. So we stop there for today, but very good, very good reading, very good education, and very good practice for today. Thank you very much. See you Thank again. Bye-bye.